Hello friends, in this video, the topic is constituents of cement. So what are the constituents of cement? These are the raw material which are generally taken, such as lime, alumina, magnesia, iron oxide, all these constituents and these percentages and their chemical formulas and their functions that we will see in this video. <music> first constituent of cement is lime and it has highest percentage in it its percentage is 60 to 67 percent and its chemical formula is CaO that is calcium oxide the second important constituent in cement is silica then alumina then iron oxide magnesia sulfur trioxide and last we also add alkalis that is soda plus potash so these are the constituents of cement and we also have its chemical formulas the lime is denoted as calcium oxide that is CaO, silica is SiO2, then alumina is denoted by Al2O3, iron oxide Fe2O3, magnesia is denoted by MgO, sulfur trioxide SO3 and last alkalis, the first is soda that is Na2O and potash is denoted by K2O and its percentages are the highest percentage in the cement is having lime and its percentage is 60 to 67 percent. The silica has 17 to 25 percent, and alumina has 3 to 8 percent, and iron oxide percentage is 0.5 to 6 percent. Similarly, magnesia has 0.1 to 4 percent, and sulfur trioxide has the percentage 2 to 3.5 percent, and last, alkalis will have 0.3 to 1.2 percent. Now, we will see the various uses of this all the constituents why lime is included in the cement, why silica is added, why alumina is added. All these constituents will have separate function in the cement that we will see. So the first constituent of cement is lime. As I told you, it has 60 to 67 percent in the cement. And the main function of providing this lime is it has cementing and binding properties. Means whenever you add lime, it will give the cement binding properties for binding various materials in the concrete and the per if the percentage of lime is less and if we have deficiency of lime it reduces its strength so the care should be taken that it should have the range 60 to 67 percent because deficiency may cause reduction in the strength now it is also very dangerous to use the lime in excess because there are certain disadvantages as using of excess lime will cause unnecessary expansion in the cement it will also result in disintegration of cement and it makes the cement very unsound so this was all about lime the next constituent is the next constituent of cement is silica the percentage of silica in cement is 17 to 25 percent and it can be also called as silicon dioxide so what is silica what is the function of silica in cement it undergoes chemical reaction when the cement reacts it undergoes certain chemical reaction during the manufacturing process with calcium this silica acts with calcium and it form dicalcium silicate and tricalcium silicate this is dicalcium silicate and this is tricalcium silicate so this silica reacts with calcium during the manufacturing process and it forms dicalcium silicate and tricalcium silicate this is dicalcium silicate and tricalcium silicate and it what is the function of dicalcium silicate and tricalcium silicate they impart or give the strength to the cement so this is silica what what is the function of silica it is added in the cement and it undergoes certain chemical reaction with calcium it forms dicalcium silicate tricalcium silicate and it imparts or gives the strength to the cement this two constituents or two compounds which are formed after the reaction this gives strength to the cement the next constituent of cement is alumina its percentage is 3 to 8 percent and what is the function of providing alumina in the cement it imparts very quick setting property which means it gives quick setting to the cement 
quick setting property to the cement. Now, as we know that it gives quick setting property, so if we provide this alumina in excess quantity, what will happen? The setting time will increase and it will make quicken the setting time of cement. But if setting time is quicken, it also results in weakening of the cement. So care should be taken that the alumina quantity should be in between 3 to 8 percent and it should not be in the excess because if it is in excess it will cause the cement to weaken and it will also quicken the setting time as we know that the general setting time of cement should be initial setting time should be at least 30 minutes so if we add this cement in excess there are chances that this may reduce to some extent the next constituent of cement is iron oxide as I told you before, its chemical formula will be Fe2O3 and its percentage ranges from 0.5 to 6%. Now, what is the function of providing iron oxide in the cement? It gives color to the cement. A greenish gray color is given by iron oxide to the cement and it also acts as a flux. What is flux? At the time of burning the various constituents of cement the there are chances that this constituents will burn or they may get overburned due to the high temperature generally the cement ingredients are burned at a temperature of 1400 degrees celsius to 1500 degrees celsius and due to this high temperature there are chances of overburning of these constituents so if we provide iron oxide it will act as a flux and it will reduce the melting point of various constituents or various constituents of cement. So, after the addition of iron oxide, it will act as a flux and it will reduce the melting point. And at high temperatures, what happens? There are chances of chemical reaction with calcium and aluminium. This iron oxide will have a chemical reaction with calcium and aluminium and it will form tricalcium aluminate. And it also helps in adding the strength to the cement and it also gives hardness but up to a certain extent so these are the functions of providing iron oxide in the cement the first is it gives color to the cement next it acts as a flux because it reduces the melting point of cement next at high temperatures it will act or it will react with chemical such as calcium and aluminium and it will form c3a that is tricalcium aluminate and it gives strength to the cement and also hardness property but up to a certain extent. The next constituent of cement is magnesia. Its chemical formula is MgO and its percentage is in between 0.1 to 4 percent. What is the function of providing this magnesia in the cement? It gives strength to the cement and care should be taken that it should not exceed 5 percent. Generally its range is 0.1 to 4 percent but if not it is does not exceed 5% and what happens if we provide excess magnesia it makes the cement unsound and what is the function what is the meaning of unsound cement means it will provide cracks to the cement there are chances of expansion of cement and due to that expansion there are chances of cracks in the form in the cement care should be taken that the magnesia will not exceed 5% and if it is in excess it will make the cement unsound unsound means the cement will form cracks. Therefore, care should be taken that it is not exceeding 5%. So, this was function of magnesia. Magnesia will give strength to the cement, but in excess, it is very dangerous and it, and it makes the cement unsound and the unsound cement will form cracks. The next constituent of cement is sulfur trioxide. As I told you before, its chemical formula is SO3 and its percentage is in between 2 to 3.5 percent. Now, the sulfur trioxide, if it is provided in excess, what will happen? It makes the cement unsound and unsound cement will means it will cause cracks in the cement and it will expand. So, it sh care should be taken that it is not in the excess or it is in the range of 2 to 3.5 percent. The next constituents are alkalis. And what are these alkalis? These are nothing but soda or potash and they are added in the percentage 0.3 to 1.2 percent and again if it is in excess what happens? It forms the efflorescence and what are efflorescence? You may have seen various patches on the surface of cement 
these white patches of salt or formation of some coating that they, they are nothing but efflorescence so it should be avoided to use the alkalis in excess and the last constituent of cement is gypsum it is added at the time of grinding process after the formation of clinkers as we know that at the time of manufacturing of cement in the last process clinkers are formed small particles of cement are formed and after the particles formation that is part formation of clinkers the gypsum is added and it is added in the percentage 3 to 5 percent what is the function of providing the gypsum in the cement it retards the setting time of cement it means it slow downs the process of setting of cement and why it is necessary to slow down or retard the setting time of cement because as we know that the setting time of cement is generally 30 minutes initial setting time so it is very difficult to transport mix or plant or then place this cement in a less time therefore gypsum is added to retard the setting time of cement so these are the constituents of cement thank you